Well, it's one thing to develop a Zika vaccine. It's another to understand why Zika leads to microcephaly, where babies are born with small heads and brains. Researchers at the University of Southern California may have just made a very crucial discovery. Here to tell us about it is the lead researcher on the study, Jay Jung. He's the senior author of this latest study. So in layman's terms, sir, tell us what you discovered and why it's important. Yes, that uh, so far we already know Zika virus infection blocked the brain development, but we did not know how. It's almost like the uh, U.S. got the gold medal, but we did not know who got the gold medal. So our study identified that uh, among 10 viral gene protein, two viral proteins are sufficient to block the brain development, such as uh, involved in uh, a, a microcephaly. That's our discovery is, is. So what is next now that you've discovered this? What is next in this process? So we have uh, these two viral protein we call NS4A and 4B. And how this NS4A block that the brain development, we have to understand a little bit more deeply that ultimately provide the specific target for therapeutic intervention. And based on your research, once a pregnant woman is infected with Zika, is there anything she can do right now to prevent it from being transmitted to her unborn child? That's correct. That's so we identify that the how this viral, two viral protein causing brain, inhibition of brain development. So we can ultimately that uh, develop the uh, drug to inhibit the, this two viral protein that ultimately rescue that uh, from a uh, pregnant woman to block that developing microcephaly. And how soon, sir, do you think people will be able to get a Zika vaccine? Months, years? I think a Zika vaccine is a probably is about another two, minimum three years, because it's already clinical trial study, but it will require phase one, phase two, and large scale. So uh, we are talking about minimum three years from now. And can you explain what Margaret Chan, the head of the World Health Organization, meant when she called Zika very tricky? What does she mean by that? Why is this tricky? Yeah, this virus is that uh, it's a widely spread, but already that uh, half a century years ago that the virus was uh, discovered, no disease, and suddenly this virus now causing a lot of that uh, infection and disease such as microcephaly. And then virus normally do not penetrate the placenta, and such as uh, this placenta is a very well preserved area. And somehow this Zika virus squeezes in and infect the fetus causing disease. That's what that virus is, so very unusual. All right, we'll leave it at that. Jay Jung, thank you so much.